basic function theory. Okay, so if we take um, a look back at coordinate geometry and take a point such as 2, 4, okay? So we know how to plot that and we know that it is made up of an x value and a y value. The x value being our 2 and the y value being our 4. And this such a point is called an ordered pair. Now, if we take a set of such order pairs, for an example, if we take the set A and we take order pairs such as 1, 2, uh, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8, all together they're known as a relation. And from that relation, we're able to read off the domain and we're able to read off the range. The domain is the first element in each of the ordered pairs or the x value. So our domain is going to be 1, 2, 3 and 4. And our range is the y value in the ordered pair or the second element, which is 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now, some of these functions can be um, defined by a rule, okay? So if we take an example such as um, the function xy, where y is defined as 2x plus 1, and our x values are an element of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? And that is our relation, okay? So this here is our relation. So this is this is our y and these are our x values. So all we need to do is we need to input our x values to find our corresponding y values. So y, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 by 1 plus 1. So y is equal to 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 by 2 plus 1. So y is equal to 5. When x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2 by 3 plus 1, so y is equal to 7. And when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2 by 4 plus 1, so y is equal to 9. Okay, so our relation or our ordered pairs are uh, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7 and 4, 9. Now, so we can read off our domain from that. We know that our domain are our x values. So the domain of our relation is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the range is the y values, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. So the range is 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now, you can plot that, or you can show the, the relation on a mapping diagram. And you just show it like this your domain goes in here so it's one two three and four so there are domain values and our range this is our domain and our range is three five seven and nine and each input value has a unique output value so two goes to five 3 goes to 7 and 4 goes to 9 and um, each input only has uh, one output value and that's very important when you're looking at what a function is. Now moving on to what a function is, okay, so we can draw your attention to our notes on functions. A function is a relation for each um, x value in the input set it has a unique y value of an of an output set just has which has been shown in the last example each of them you have um, an, an input value and each has a unique output value now if you look at the two mapping diagrams um, here okay so you have a b and c are our inputs or our domain and our range or our outputs are d e and f now if you look at part one there it's not a function because b has two outputs it doesn't have one unique output it has two different elements 
um, in the range. So part one is not a function. And if you look at part two, each of them, so one um, is the input and one is the output, um, or our range over here. Uh, two goes to four and minus two also goes to four. Now, the inputs have the unique output. It doesn't matter that they both go to four. They both have the same output as long as it's just uh, one value for each input. So uh, part two is a function.